they'll, they'll have a lot more personality. They look great from a distance, but up close, they're just a hot mess. I have pumpkins all over my yard. So I bought this paint. It's the um, Carl as the Fusion all in one. This is called Satin Spiced Amber. And I got it because I just wanted to put a coat of an orange kind of base in this um, Fusion. I'm kind of using it as my primer. So here's some that I've painted. You see they're all kind of the same color. And then here's the ones I'm, I'm working on. They're all these different colors. So my goal number one, <laughs> that one is like a totally different color, was glue the ones that broke. And yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna get all these kind of the same color orange, and then I'm gonna come back with another paint that's an all weather paint. It's just an acrylic product, you know. I uh, sound spray paint, it's a brush on, and I'm gonna do some details. I'm not loving this color orange, so I'm hoping the paint that I put over them will brighten them up. So it's kind of really, really dull and kind of pinky orange, I can tell. Like the difference between, say, this one and that one, it'll be yellow. So yeah, project for the day, paint some pumpkins. Okay, so I have a bunch of the multi-surface paints, but I also have just some regular paints I'm gonna kind of throw in here. I don't even know what that is. Pure orange enamels. Yeah. Just wash your safe. I don't even know where these came. These came from like probably Rolling Hills or something. I did actually buy this color and like the yellow and stuff and then brown. But yeah, so I grabbed some other oranges that I have just in case, and another brown that I have. So I have a little bit of this pumpkin orange left. I think I'm gonna start with the black and just kinda do some stuff. Uh, and that way I can dry brush over the dark. Dark to light, we're gonna work from dark to light. So, got everybody, all but the two down here that are drying spray painted. The hardest one spray paint was my little guy over here. He's just so dark, so. We'll see. Look, my dog wants to be in the video again. So many pumpkins. So many pumpkins. Somebody want a Jeep ride today. Do you have your monkey? Get your monkey. Bring me your monkey. She got a monkey. She do, there's a wall of pumpkins here, Mama. A wall of pumpkins. All right, so the sun's not like me right now. Uh, this is just the black kind of wash I'm putting on everything. Um, I just kind of want to get my dark, some of my darks in, and I have a lot more to do. I, just, I wanted I have to quit. I'm tired. My fiber mail is kicking in. And my back is killing me. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit of work and I'm worn out. But I really like this one. He's looking so much better now. But I will paint them. I mean, this is just like their base coats. They'll, they'll have a lot more personality. They look great from a distance, but up close, they're just a hot mess. And then look, pile over here. I was able to get these a little, see this guy was kind of green. I got him a little closer and then that one was dark. Here's like three different colors here. I'll show you. There were so many different shades of orange and I think once I got them all painted, they'll still be different shades but kind of more in the same family of oranges and yellows and versus these weird colors they were. So I'm looking forward to that part and yeah, lots to paint. And my hands are gross. I'm spray painting. Don't ask. Yeah, I picked the worst time of the day to, to video these things because the way the sun's hitting it. But I do want to talk about my pumpkins, that my jack-o'-lanterns I'm still working on. Oh, my gosh. I just don't know when I'm going to have time because I promised my husband we'd go bicycle, ride bikes today. And it's so pretty. And I'm not going to give up a really good day to do that. Um, but I do have all my, like, spider stuff. Maybe I'll have to come this afternoon. Uh, and I'll try to get another shot. Anyway, I just wanted to show how many pumpkins I was able to get painted. I just didn't have time to paint them all, sadly. But how nice they look when they're painted. So there's some painted ones versus one that's not painted. And there's, that one was kind of half painted. And there's another painted one. Another new addition to my decorations this year are these pillow covers that I got, uh, like on Amazon. They were advertising on a Facebook post, you know, and I said, well, I uh, think I'll give it a try. And I really love them. They're beautiful. So that's pretty cool because they're going over, you know, I just put them over some existing outdoor pillows that I had and like three matched and one didn't. So now they all four match, but they're the same size. So it all worked out. But uh, yeah, I was a little happy with this, how that turned out. So it's kind of cool. There's a cat, so we step on the. Oh, on the I had to tell you, my dog was walking in the front door, and she stepped on the on the trigger. 
And the cat kind of, yeah. And that's so funny. Yeah, I need to do, do, give these a little bit more love. That's a better shot. Yeah, that worked out. So this isn't my coolest year ever. I've, I've had better years as far as decorating, but I had these sticks that were light up. I used to have them in the house, like in a vase. So yeah, I just, they were sitting out needing to go to the barn. And uh, you know, so they would just improvise this year and lit up my pumpkins this way. So like I said, not my best year for decorating, but hey, it's 2020, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to, you know, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell because eventually I do want to start doing some live shows and I need to give me an audience so I can do that. And it should be a lot more fun that way. So thanks again. Bye.